Hello friends, today we are going to make a technological tunnel, using the polar coordinate effect. This is a classic tutorial, but I changed some parts to make it easier, so this is my version, I hope you like it. Well we started it. First you need a vertical composition. I used 1920 by 5080 pixels tall, then create a solid and apply a fractal noise effect. In the effect set the rock and block type. And change the sub influence value to zero. Then you need to press Alt and the evolution clock icon to insert the following expression. Time starts 50. Okay, now apply the find edges effect and hit the invert option box. Great. I think the fractal noise is small so let's change the scale value to 150. Yeah, it looks much better. Okay, now you need to duplicate the solid layer and apply a vertical flip to match the lines of both layers like a mirror. To do this, just change the width to the negative number minus 100. We can then visually center the layers for a better blend. Now create an adjustment layer and apply curves and adjust the color you want. By the way, I use the FX console search window, which is a free video copilot plugin. Please download it to speed up your workflow. Okay now apply some glow effect and adjust the values, I use deep glow which is awesome but if you don't have it you can apply glow effect it works too. Now our second composition. This time create a square that is 1920 by 1920 pixels. Place the first composition and animate it using the position values. Visually we need to see the composition move from top to bottom. When the animation is ready we need to duplicate twice and resize the scale to 50% to make it easier I hide the first layer and work with the other two. I also need to delete the old animation on the new layers, because this new one needs a new animation. It can help with the alignment windows so that the layers match up perfectly. Okay great, now change the opacity value to 25%. Turn on our main layer and change the overlay to add. Now we can see all the layers moving visually creating a depth effect. The next step is to add a solid and apply saber effect. Please if you don't have this effect you can download it for free on the video copilot website. In this case I rotate the solid and change the value to get a horizontal line. Now I animate the vertical position and change the overlay to add. In the saber effects we are going to change and animate the intensity of the glow we are looking to increase the value. Okay perfect, now we need to add a solid and mask it, and adjust the fade values for the mask. Then change the overlay to stencil alpha and finally invert the mask. It's important to place the saber layer on top of the mask layer. Now it's the turn of the polar coordinate effects, so create an adjustment layer and apply the effect on top of it. Change the conversion type from reek to polar and increase the interpolation to 100. You can also apply some vertical blur on the same adjustment layer to soften the lines a bit. Now 
Now our final composition this time 1920 by 1080 pixels. Place the polar coordinate composition on top of it and create an adjustment layer to apply the optical offset effect. Check the reverse lens distortion box and increase the field of view also for better effect we are going to animate the field of view for a more intense effect. Okay, this might be better if we rotate the tunnel, so let's go to our second composition and add transform effects on the adjustment layer, okay, I think the vertical movement is too fast, so I'm going to slow it down. Hide the adjustment layer and change the animation. Now it looks great! This is a great effect to practice and also to better understand the effect of polar coordinates. I hope you liked this tutorial, see you in the next super tutorial next week. And remember, subscribe, like and share.